The movie begins showing some kids playing a war game in the house. Their mother Heather Turner and father Darren Turner join them too. Suddenly, they hear a noise from their neighbors. They come out and see a scene from them. The husband and neighbor's wife were fighting because of the neighbor's alcoholism. She informs him that he is not welcome to visit their girls inside. Following this, news of President Bush's announcement to add additional soldiers to Iraq appeared on television. With anxiety, Heather follows the news. Turner leaves for his station at Fort Stewart in Georgia the following instant. He informs Chaplain Rogers that he is on the list to travel to Iraq when they first meet. Concerning him, Rogers says he ought to have completed his non-combat training before entering the battle zone. He says that they will deploy him in the surge unit, where he will have to be moving all day into the tripwires, snipers, and roads with IEs. He replies that he signed up to be where the need is. In the next scene, he comes home and arranges a small party for the neighbors. Now the neighbors they saw the other day come there too. They introduce themselves to Turner and Heather. When Turner finds out that he is a major in the army and was deployed to Iraq, he tells him that he would love to have his advice before going there. Just leave your heart at home when you're out there, advises Major Lewis. They all arrive at the base to go for Iraq after a while. Before heading out, Turner hands his daughter a penny. With sorrowful hearts, their boarding troop family members bid them farewell. Lieutenant Colonel Jacobson greets them all at the advanced base, Falcon, in the next scene. Turner is introduced to a second chaplain major by Jacobson, who also inquires about his family and life in America. He informs him that he leads a balanced life with his wife and children. He now displays to him the divorce records from the previous three months. He warns him saying that the soldiers are losing their families because they cannot get out of there anytime soon. He says that these are the concerns he should be aware of. Turner does not take it seriously and lets it go. After that, Major North guides him to his tent. He gets into his tent and takes another coin from the box. He goes to the military phone facilitation booth and talks to his family. At night, he cannot sleep because of the continuous fires and mortars outside of his tent. In the morning, he takes his goofy pictures for his kids but is interrupted by Sergeant Shonda Peterson. She tells him that Lieutenant Colonel Jacobson is not in the camp, so she has taken the deliveries from the family here. They all pile into a military Humvee and leave the base in the following scene. Just as they were leaving, their Humvee was suddenly shot at. They fight back against this assault and carry on. Following this, they return to the base, where the Lieutenant Colonel is notified of an RPG assault on his men. Heather follows the news about an assault on the Fort Stewart soldiers. They report that two Iraqi insurgents had wounded soldiers in Baghdad. As Tanya, her neighbor, arrives, she becomes quite nervous. She brings her to the deceased wife of Cosgrove in Baghdad. On the other hand, Turner goes to the deceased's tent to offer his condolences to his teammates. He sits there and asks about the death of his friend Cosgrove and how he died. They all tell him how he lived with them and how he died in action. He says sorry to them for the loss of a friend and leaves. After some time, Turner talks to his wife on the phone and asks her to send some Christmas stockings to him. She asks her the quantity and gets surprised when he says he needs 1,000. She says she will involve some other wives too for this work. After that, Turner and Michael talk about their wives and routines on the baseball court. Michael thanks Turner for helping him to get closer to his family. The scene shifts to Turner and his troops at the camp, Buka. He sits with Sergeant Shonda and talks about her kid. Meanwhile, their camp gets hit by mortars from the insurgents. Turner and Shonda run from there to hide somewhere in the camp. Their companion troop asks for help to take them to the bunker. Meanwhile, Sergeant Shonda tells him to move when she moves. Now their team of Major Lewis arrives there and takes them to the bunker. Sergeant Shonda thanks Major for saving them. The next day, Shonda comes to his tent while he was taking silly photos for his children. He leaves the chair for her and asks her to read her kid's favorite book to him on the camera. She hesitates but agrees later. She reads their book on the camera and tells her kid that she misses him. Turner also calls his wife on the phone, but she does not talk to him as she used to do before. She suspects him of being changed over there in Iraq. She hangs up the call shortly after telling him that she is having his parents at home. Lieutenant Colonel Jacobson informs them of a new operation the following morning, which involves moving a few former sunny insurgents from all Sakhar province to the patrol base Hawks. Following the briefing, they head off on the road. 
While traveling, Major Lewis begins to enjoy himself with his driver. They eventually arrived in the region of al sakar which is on the outskirts of Baghdad, seeking their guide among the rebels. After some time, when he was weaving them with a mirror, they discovered him. They adhere to him. Major suspects something wrong on their way to escort the insurgents. He wires everyone to be alert for any kind of action. When they reach the spot, they see an abandoned bus. They have to take them from that spot, but no one comes out. Suddenly, all Qaeda terrorists start firing on them. They surround them and shoot RPGs at them too. Somehow, they all succeed to get out of there. When they get in a safe zone, Turner gets a call from his wife Heather. She tells him that Ellie had an asthma attack when she was in the maze. He gets angry at her for not looking at her properly. Both of them excuse their arguments and hang up. They have a Christmas celebration at the base after a while. At their party, Lieutenant Colonel Jacobson portrays Santa. Heather, on the other hand, spends Christmas with his folks at home. Turner is missed at home by Heather. Major Lewis and his soldiers prepare to embark on a patrol around the base after a while. Before leaving, Turner reads them the Bible. When they go, he and Shonda visit his tent. The lieutenant colonel begs Turner to accompany him on a walk when they go outside, telling him that it's his friend Lance Bradley. When Turner inquires about Major Lewis, his other friend, the colonel replies that he has lost both of his legs. He goes to the hospital later and takes care of Lewis. Heather goes to Tanya and tries to calm her down. When the year completes, Turner and his men return home. He leaves the base watching some new troops come into the base. When he reaches back to America, Heather and their children welcome him back home. When he reaches the home, he gets gloomy when he sees his neighbor Major Lewis' house. Heather comes to him and says Tanya and their girls left the house last night to join Michael at Walter Reed. He remembers Michael Lewis when he saved him at the camp. At night, Heather comes to him asking him why he is not sleeping in bed. He says that let him stay awake. When Major Lewis sees his girls the following morning, he apologizes for his earlier actions. He promises to follow their hearts and do what is right. He assures them that he will be a man of whom they can be proud. Turner experiences a panic attack at night over the time of the attack in the region of al sakar Heather is taken aback by his responses. All day, he sits by himself on the lawn and doesn't say anything. He doesn't give a damn about his wife or kids. He enters the kitchen one day to get some water. When he can't find the water bottle, he breaks the glass. She rushes to see his hand, but he turns and says that he is going to the base to get stitches. Now, Heather starts arguing about his behavior. She says she is already doing fine on her own for the past 17 months. When he hears 17, he asks her why she is ignoring him he is back. But she realizes to him that he is not there with her or with the kids after coming back home. She tells him that she is patient and compassionate. She is bearing him and raising their three children partnerless. He gets angry at her when she says that she needs him for their children. He leaves her there and goes to the base for the stitches. The next morning, he sees his kids reading his personal diary. He begins to shout at them for reading his military things. He chides the kids to stay away from his stuff. Heather runs to protect the kids. She yells at him to get out of the house immediately. The next moment, he comes to the base and meets Chaplain Rogers. He tells him his story of a disturbed mind. He tells him about his failures to save his friends in Iraq. He asks for his help to get him out of this situation. He suggests that he should go to a nursery and work there for some time. In the next scene, Turner goes to the nursery. The farm owner asks him if he can do his work. He assures him of his responsibility and agrees to work there. After some time, Heather also comes to Chaplain Rogers in the camp and tells him the story of Turner being distant from the family. She tells him that she cannot handle his distance and silence from her and their family. Rogers suggests to them that they should think about their good memories. He asks Heather to give Turner some time to get out of this post-traumatic stress condition. She readily agrees to give him all of her time and tells him that she understands his pain, fear, anger, and anxiety. They leave afterward. One day, Major Lewis surprisingly visits the nursery where Turner works. They talk about their families and women. Now Lewis asks him what is his problem with his family and why he is angry with them. 
Turner ignores him and says that he is just all right. Lewis tells him that their wives are friends, so he knows everything. When Lewis gets angry at him, he starts to open up. He tells him that God did not save Cosgrave and his legs. He let many people die there. Lewis stops him and says do not lose his faith on account of him and his friend Lance. He asks him to call Heather and get back to the family. After some time, he goes to their kid Ellie's school and tells them about his feelings for the family. He offers flowers to his wife and thanks her for being patient all the time. He builds a wooden toy fort for their children. The kids get surprised to see that on their lawn. Heather arranges a candlelight dinner for him at home. After one year, Chaplain Rogers comes to his nursery and asks him to get back to the army. He offers that they will make him a captain. Turner refuses, saying that he cannot serve anymore. When he comes back home, his wife Heather tells him that she called Rogers and he will be going back to the army. He hesitates but agrees eventually. When Roger calls out his name to get a bronze star medal in the hallway, the film comes to an end. Turner addresses the crowd and relates his own experiences from his time spent in Iraq. He is grateful for his family's and the military's support. He promises to carry out the request and continue serving the country. Following the lecture, Major Lewis surprises him in the hallway by approaching him while walking on an artificial limb. Thank you for watching.